Hello. So a while back I did a quick tutorial on how to do LODs uh, for scale meshes in Unreal. And one of the viewers watched that and was having issues getting it to work with morph targets. So I wanted to create a really quick tutorial on how to do the scale mesh LODs while preserving your morph targets. Now this is going to be a quick dirty demonstration. It's actually not going to come out very good, but I'm hopefully will demonstrate the process so you can uh, take it and learn from it. So the first thing we're going to do is import this really quick tint mesh that I created where I'm not going to assign it a skeleton. It's going to create its own. One of the important things I want you to note is if you come down to advanced, if you want your morph targets to come on, this needs to be ticked on. Now I'm not going to tick it on because I want to show you how to fix it in case you imported with this flag off. But what you would want to do is tick this on when you import it, it would import your morph targets. But I'm going to import it without the morph targets to show you how to fix it. Because in case you didn't do that and you're like, oh my god, I'm screwed. No, you're not screwed. So we can fix that. So here it is. I imported it incorrectly. There's no morph targets here. So what I can do is I can come down to the import settings, tick it on, and then re-import. Now there's still no morph targets here. Now this is actually a bug in Unreal. So if I go here and reopen it up, now you see that I have morph targets. And I have two simple morph targets here. So we now confirm that I have the mesh imported in Unreal with morph targets. That's point one. So let's go ahead and create our LDs. Let's go ahead and create four. And I'm going to hit apply. So now I have LODs. So if I go to LOD1, I have no morph targets. Go to LOD2, I have no morph targets. Okay. This is because by default, these settings are off for remapping morph targets. So let's go to the settings for LOD1. And these are actually going to be pretty aggressive. So let's switch that down to 0.5, just so it'll show up a little better. And then I'm going to tick on remap morph targets. Let's go to LOD2. Again, I'm going to lower this remap morph targets. And then for LOD3, let's leave this off. Okay. So my last LOD will not have the morph targets. LOD0, 1, and 2 will, 3 will not. So I can regenerate each one of them. Let's go ahead and just hit the regenerate button down here. So now LOD zero, still have morph targets. LOD one, I have morph targets. LOD two, I have morph targets such as they are. Now obviously the mesh is getting a bit mangled. It's not that high res of a mesh. It's trying to preserve the morph targets but there's not really enough geometry to do it. But you see that it is working. And then LOD3 has no morph targets. So there you go. That's how the scale mesh LOD system works while preserving morph targets. You have to make sure you have morph targets in your LOD0. You um, set up your LODs and then you have to go in and for each LOD that you want to preserve your morph targets, you have to tick that flag on. I hope that helps, and please let me know if there are any more questions that I can help out with. Thank you very much.